Hello friends, welcome to this video tutorial. We are going to talk about how we can install Loadrunner, how we can get the software on our machine and how we can install it. Okay, So let's go to Google and type in HP Loadrunner 11 trial version. We are getting the trial version, uh, we are downloading the trial version of the software which is valid for 10 days. Okay. Just click on this first link which is taking you to the HP website and you see uh, the two menu items here, let's talk and trials and demos. Click on this trials and demos, you have this first menu item as uh, Loadrunner 11 evaluation. Clicking on this will uh, give you the downloadable link to the file, Loadrunner 11 uh, setup file. There are two demos also available, you can have a look at them. Now when I click on this evaluation version, It will open up a, uh, open up one form for you. You'll have to fill up that form. If you already uh, have registered yourself sometime before, you can use that user ID and password details to enter and to get uh, the downloadable link. Otherwise, click on this new user registration, fill up your information, and you would be shown the downloadable link on the same window. The small window that has opened up that uh, on this window itself, you will see the downloadable link. Suppose by any chance you, you uh, close this window, you also get an email with the link. You can follow that email, you can follow the link given in the email to get to the downloadable uh, downloadable file, the, downloading, the downloadable file, okay? So once you have downloaded, what you see is, uh, is these three files, the highlighted ones. The first one is this file. That is software HP Loadrunner 11, some number, and then zip file. The second one is .z01 file, and third one is patch file. All the three files are necessary to uh, do the installation of the software. Okay. Now, this first .zip file. If you simply have the first file and you don't have this .z01 file, it will be of no use, right? because this .zip file is dependent on this .z01 file. So unzipping of this file will be done using WinRAR or WinZip, but there is a dependency on .z01. Unzipping, unzipping um, action will be complete only when you have .z01 also on your system. If you have downloaded only one file, no, there will be no use, right? So you have unzipped it, you have unzipped this uh, main file of Roadrunner, dot zip file of Roadrunner, you would see a folder like this and you will see simply this first file, the dot ISO file. Now this is a big file, if you see it is in GB, okay. Now you have to unzip this file, dot ISO file is, uh, is you, can, you, you can unzip this file using WinRAR or WinZip, okay. So when you unzip this ISO file, you will see all these things, the setup files and other some other supporting folders. Click on setup and you would be shown a window like this. Load on a full setup. The first link that you see is what you need to do on your machine to set up all three components on your machine, right? There are three components of load runner like view gen, controller and analysis. So by this full setup you would be able to set up all three components on your machine. However, it is not necessary that you have to have all three components on one machine. You may have it on different uh, machines connected over the LAN. But since for the practice purpose, you can also have them all together on one machine. Okay? So I'm just exiting because I already have this installation on my machine. It will simply overwrite it. I don't want that. So uh, the idea here is Click on this full setup to set up um, load on, on your machine, okay? So once you have set up, you would see HP load in your application or in your all program and under applications you will see three components of load runner, virtual user generator, controller and analysis. So you can launch any of these, right? This trial version is available for 10 days only meaning to say uh, this will expire in 10 days and after that you will be 
required to give a licensing information. If you wanted to work further, you would re require licensing information. Meaning to say you'll have to buy a license. Okay. Uh, but view gen and analysis. The first component, view gen, that is used for scripting and analysis, that is for analysis uh, by graphs and reports, that you can use without the license, right? These two uh, components, virtual user generator and analysis will be available to you even though your ex license expires. It is only the controller which is the heart of load runner where you will be loading some number of users to run your script, right? You are basically putting load on your application using this component of load runner, controller. Controller will not be accessible. Only controller is a licensed one. So you, that will not be accessible. It will show you that it has expired. Okay. So let me click on it. It says licensing, license security violation operation not allowed. To renew your license, that means it has expired. However, if uh, you just came to know that I have exceeded those 10 uh, days of trial period, now if I try to open ViewGen, I should be able to do so. Because ViewGen and Analysis, they are not licensed, only controller, which is the main component of Load Runner that is licensed. Okay? So this is how ViewGen you can uh, still access even though your license has expired. 